Hello, how are we getting on? Thanks for tuning in. So we're back with another video, back with the match preview of our up and coming game at St Mary's at the weekend against High Flying Southampton. A game that I'm guessing not many of you are looking forward to, um, me included. But um, we go again, you never know, football's a strange thing and we might go down there and get a result. But we'll preview the video as we go on. Also later on, I've got another giveaway from LU Soccer. Um, so I'll open that later on in the video and we'll give that away on this week's game also as you know we've been doing our funny quotes um, before the games even though it's not very funny at the moment but as funny as Tuesday being a Sunderland fan at the minute but see if you can work out who said this then it was a horrible horrible debut I was devastated it was a long weekend for me I couldn't even take the dog for a walk because I don't even have a dog so who said that I'll let you know at the end of the video if uh, if who said that. But uh, right on to South Happen and so on the back of uh, if five defeats on the bounce, could this be a new six in a row? Um you know it's looking highly likely. Uh, you know, I was in a an old workplace of mine yesterday, caught up with some, some very, very good friends of mine, uh, Sean Smith and Mark Taggart. So if you're both watching, you know it was great catching up yesterday. Um, loved it and um, I like do it more often but Mark is he's just as passionate as me um, he's been supporting the club for 50 years you know he's had the same seat in the stadium since it opened um, travels all over the country and he had some valid points you know when we caught up yesterday um, you know how, how it kind of all gone quiet KLD and Speakman over recent weeks with these five defeats have gone in, like gone into hiding if you like never heard from them um, the Dodds spell in charge just re resembled his first spell, you know, which was an absolute car crash. He's had two freak results against, you know, Leeds and Wigan in his second spell, and then we all think he's, you know, majority of fans are thinking he's this tactical genius, but really, in reality, he's an absolute nightmare. You know, he's he's played eight, one, two, lost six. That's the record. Um, and you know, the football is is awful to watch. You know, we all sort of spoke about, you know, even the second half was better against Leicester. For a club like us, it's not good enough. You know, it's not good enough. Um, and it's going to be interesting to see when the season tickets come out um, of what they are and how many people renew. And he, we were kind of saying it'll take, you know, for every one person that renews to three or four people not to renew. People stay away. They get the message, you know, about how they're pissing people off and how they're shafting, you know, shafting fans. You know, all of our fans, like he said, you know, we're working class, hard working people pay good hard money to travel all over the country to watch them and we're getting out in return we're not expecting them to spend millions of pounds you know Luton got promoted last year I think they spent five million pound in total you know you don't need to spend a fortune that's not what we're talking about we're just on about buying some experienced players and let this model be a bit more flexible I'm sick of banging on about it the model isn't working in principle yes but you need that blend of experience and you need to be flexible a bit to add some quality players to these young lads um so i you know it was good to catch up but you know i could talk to them all day but we just didn't have the time um but like i said you might have seen him in the in the comments um as well in some of the videos so watch out for that you know he talks a lot of sense um he's a very very good and passionate fan so cheers for that mark so southampton then managed by russell martin you know play some good football another good young up and come manager um, started off at MK Dons went to Swansea and then got the Southampton job um, where he's got a win percentage rate of nearly 60% now they had a bit of a tough start of the season if you remember they were a little bit in and out but they recently went on a 25 game unbeaten run you know which has put them firmly in the in the playoff stroke promotion picture um, they went from September last year to, to February this year in the one eighteen and drew seven in that time, we're seeing much rockeder than right of the league, playing some lovely football, um, scoring goals for fun. Um, have had a little bit of a bump recently. Uh, lost three games before they beat uh, they beat Birmingham four three at the weekend in a thriller. That's kind of got them back on track. Their game was postponed last night uh, due to a fire in some nearby industrial estate, so they have had a they've had a week off, so they're going to be fresh. For the weekend which is another you know bad sign for us um 
but you know I sometimes wonder who makes these kind of fixtures up um, there's, there's no thought whatsoever goes into the into the supporters like I've just said you know supporters spending the hard earned money travelling all over the country so last weekend we had Norwich a 500 mile round trip Southampton this week you know it's a 630 mile round trip that's, that's, that's nearly 11 that's over 1100 miles in two away games for you as fans who travel up and down the country you know fair play to you as all who've gone to the away games um, I don't know because I simply can't afford it but you know I, I know a lot of people who go to every game you know and the support and like I've just touched on before but that's not reciprocated by the by the players going to Norwich last week and watching that shite no doubt Southampton at the weekend is going to be the same type of thing um, but you're still getting your thousands so a fair play to every each and every one of you who travel to all these away games in short spaces of time to the far end of the country you know big big up to you um, but Southampton as you can see they're currently in fourth place eight points behind Ipswich with a game in hand so they're fighting they're going to be fighting for every game to get points to try and catch them and get into that top two Um so like I said it's going to be a massively massively tough game down there at the weekend um, they've got some great players as well uh, Kyle Water Kyle Water Peters Premier League player you know Adam Armstrong them type of players Adam Armstrong has got 17 goals and 11 assists this season Shea Adams has got 10 goals Ryan Fraser on one from the Mags has got 6 goals so you know they've got some great players all over the place they usually play a 4-3-3 now that front three of theirs genuinely worries me against our back four our depleted back four that it's going to be on Saturday um, especially how Leicester kind of got in behind us on Tuesday night so easy especially in the first 15-20 minutes we got absolutely tortured um, and they'll be looking to avenge that 5-0 defeat at the stadium you know, earlier on this season no doubt about that they'll be going to try and put that right um, but under us like I've said we're on the back of five defeats in a row uh, the last time we lost five in a row was between December 2015, uh, 5th of December 2015 and 30th of December 2015. But that run included games against Arsenal, Chelsea, Man City and Liverpool and not Huddersfield, Birmingham, Swansea, Norwich and Leicester. You know. So it just shows you where we are. Um, and with the next kind of games against this lot, I, I can't really see where the next points are coming from. We've got Southampton who are going for promotion, like we've said. QPR have been transform, transformed under Siffy Wenders. Cardiff, our bogey side. Blackburn have improved under Eustace. Bristol City, the same, have improved under Liam Manning. Leeds, well, say no more, still going for promotion. And West Brom are in the playoffs as well, currently playing well. So, could it be 12 in a row? You know, is there a possibility we can lose 12 in a row? You know, there's, I think there's, there's a very high chance of that the way we're playing. Um, the only I only see us possibly taking points off Blackburn and Bristol City, but then again we were supposed to beat Huddersfield and Swansea and didn't. So you know, you never know. We've now got Luke on nine suspended due to him being on on ten yellow cards. Tria Hume's on nine, so what's the bet? And he picks up his tenth card on um on Saturday, which will leave us without Hume and or nine for the game after. Um, so that decision to kind of ship. Triantas off to Hibs looks an even more crazy decision considering we knew that Alicia and uh, and certain were long term injuries we've got Nick cover now at the back so the team for Saturday I, I don't know really it's, it, it's I'm convinced this team now can't play with a striker you know the games we've played with a centre forward we've been absolute dog shit so I wouldn't be surprised if on Saturday we play without a one um, Emir again was poor on Tuesday night. He, he, he is lazy. He doesn't close down very well, you know. And the, the the time and space that the Leicester defenders are at the back to bring the ball out without anybody closing them down. Now, I know it's not a one man press, but he's the focal point, and it wasn't happening. So, this is the kind of side I would pick on Saturday, or you know, I wouldn't be surprised if this this, this is the side we pick. Um, you know, with with Helder looking more and more like Brendan Galloway with each game he plays do you me neither one he was he was Leeds' fourth choice left back but this is so this is the team so Patterson in goal Trey Hume Jensen sealed into the centre mid into the centre half in place of Luke O'Neill with Dan Ballard and Helder back four Joe Bellingham sitting just in front of the back four 
alongside Ekwa and Dan Neil. The front three, well actually not a front three, I think it'll be three midfielders. I think it'll be Abdullah Bar on the right, Adela Shishu done really, really well when he came on against Leicester, and Chris Rigg playing as a 10. You know, he's the one looks like he can, he can, he can make things happen. And for 16, I think he needs a run on the side now. You know, he, he, he's more than proved himself on, on Tuesday night that he's, he's good enough to be playing. So that's the side that we'll pro I think we'll probably play without a centre forward. Um, but let us know what your thoughts are in the comments below of what kind of side you would pick. Um, it's a difficult one. I say the team at the minute more or less picks itself, um, with the exception of probably, you know, he has got the option of, of probably bringing Pembelli in at right wing back and pushing Hume into the back three, which would kind of worry me even further based on what I've seen of Pembelli. So, you know, let us know what team you would pick and uh, and, and how you think we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll set up against a very, very attacking and very, very good Southampton side. Score predictions. Well, you know, like I said, I fear for us going down there, I really, really do. Uh, I just think it's going to be another horror show. Um, and I, like I said, you know, I hear predicting us to get beat. But, like I said, they'll be looking to avenge that 5-0. That so, unfortunately, I'm going to go for Southampton 4, Sunderland 0. Might be a bit extreme, but I just feel the way we're playing, even though, you know, Tuesday we looked a little bit better second half. If we are getting a draw... It would have already papered over the cracks of what was a pretty much, you know, shot and shit performance. Um, so that's kind of where where I am with that. So let me know what your thoughts are below. Um, the shirt giveaway for the Sun and shirt for the end of next, well, for the start of next season, or whichever shirt you want. Um, there was one correct prediction of the Blackburn game on Tuesday, which was Ibrahim Al Motawa, who predicted a 1 0 win. So well done to you. So that kind of makes the leaderboard uh, look like this. So Kip Vieira is still top with 36. David Williams and Kenneth Allen have both got 32 in second place. Alex Dixon 23 along with David Mianel 23 in third. David Edwards has got 21. Brian Green of 14. John T 14. Man of the World 14. That's your top five. But there's the rest of them on the screen as you can see there. Um, so that's it for the review. You know, like I said, let us know what your thoughts are. Get your score predictions in for for the Southampton game, and uh, let us know what you think. Now, LU Supper. So you know the crack will get one of these every month, which I give away in a competition. So we'll see what's in in this in this month's uh, shirt. red and white stripes which is a good sign you can see so there you are so it looks like it's Atletico Madrid I'll just have a, take it out and have a look so I, there it is it's a, it's a nice Atletico Madrid shirt um, it's nice that actually um, I can see it from the back Radar Air. Um, now you know the drive reviewed these before. These shirts are really, really good quality. You know, and they're a fraction of the price of what you would pay in the um, in the you know the sports shops in the, in the town. Um, the badge, as you can see, is kind of it's stitched on. It's not one of these iron ones on like we've got these with the Sunderland badges. You know, the, the cheap and nasty shit. It's uh it's very they're very very well put together. They're very good quality. The night badge again is all stitched in as well. Um, it's a large, so I, I like them actually, very very nice. So I uh, like so LU Supper, as you know, or if you haven't seen these before, I've got a um, in the description below. There's a a discount code where you can get like up to like seven dollars off. Um, so you can get them shirts on the site for something like twenty odd dollars. It works at about twenty nine to twenty or twenty nine quid. They're about seventy quid to buy in the shops, and they are you know really really good quality. So have a look at the website follow the instructions below of how to get one set up an account which all free put your discount code in and get a couple of these shirts ordered you know it's uh, the, the well worth it 
and they've got all sorts on there from international stuff to, to uh, Premier League to La Liga as you can see there's retro stuff on there training gear um, the website's really really good so to keep these shirts coming um, we're looking to try and get a couple of orders in from some of the subscribers so have a look on there and get yourselves an order and, uh, and we'll keep them coming every month now to win that shirt I'm only going to do it for this video so whoever gets the correct score for Southampton at the weekend will win the shirt if there's a draw it will go in the hat um, and we'll draw your name out if there's nobody wins it it will roll over in the next week's game against QBR so there you go Atletico Madrid shirt up for grabs and um, get your score predictions in and uh, we'll see how you get on right so that's about it from me just to end on uh, the funniest quote competition or not not competition what am I talking about the funniest quote so who said this it was a horrible horrible debut I was devastated it was a long weekend for me I couldn't even take the dog for a walk because I don't even have a dog did you guess who it was well it was Andy Cole after his horrendous debut when we got beat 7-1 off Everton uh, so a debut to forget for Andy Cole and I think the actual whole spell he was here was a, was, was a time to forget actually um, it wasn't the best so that kind of wraps up the video um, thanks for watching please like share and subscribe if you don't mind we are trying to get to 3,500 by the end of the year well in the way we've got 3,140 which is absolutely massive and um, they're going up every week so please if you're a regular subscriber or regular watcher and you're not subscribed just hit that subscribe button it costs you now um, and it'll all add to our subs and it'll, uh, it'll push the channel out to more people um, if you enjoy it of course if you don't then don't but uh, hit that like button as well if you don't mind we do try and get 200 likes on each video greatly appreciated watch out for the match review coming out uh, on Saturday night of Southampton like we said uh, hopefully hopefully we're getting the result but I'm not in much hope but you never know typical son of my gun down there and surprise us all there'll be an away day guide in the description below with pubs and parking around St Mary's anybody travelling down there have a safe safe trip have a fantastic journey have a fantastic game and have a safe trip back until the next time thanks for watching take it easy stay safe and as always we'll speak soon ta -ra.